Good morning, Isa. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Phyllis Morning Show. Good morning, Miss Love. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we're having, and everybody say good morning, so grand rising, I would rather say, instead of good morning, I like grand rising, but, um, so that I know that you're here, and I can say grand rising back, hey Joshua, um, if you don't let, I don't know who's here, unless you say something back to me, I can't see who watched the show, so I love to tell you grand rising. So I hope you guys are ready to get this day started. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wadev, the only live past crazy special. So what better place to be than here with me? And I hope we're ready to get this morning started. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. If your friends and family don't have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. They can binge watch all the Fearless Morning Shows over there. Don't forget, we are on how many platforms for the podcast that we count off yesterday? 13 or 14 um, platforms for the podcast so they can listen to the podcast anywhere with any device, even in their car. They can grab any of the books or they can watch the movie. So good morning. It's going to be an amazing day. My neck is, y'all don't know if y'all could tell you say, but I couldn't even move my neck yesterday. It was hurting so bad. So I took the braids out. That didn't help. So I had one of the girls just do a quick, some massage techniques on me yesterday and I went to bed and I feel a lot better this morning. Good morning, Kiva. Good morning, my friend. How you doing this morning? Yeah, one of the things I've started doing to increase my hydration is I make fruit water and I try to drink at least four of these a day. So today we have blueberry and lime. We had blueberry and watermelon before that. Then we had strawberries and blueberries. I'm so sorry, Joshua. I thought about you last night. It is a medium. Uh, let's go with a large. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you soon. Hey, Court, do my measurements as soon as the show is over for Joshua. Courtney will, Courtney will hold me to that. So um, that's what we're sipping on this morning, some water. And of course we always have our tea and I use uh, loose leaf tea. So I put it in this little thing so that um, I can have fresh tea. All right, so let's get going with the morning show. And if you share, please make sure you tag me so that I can properly tell you thank you for that. Now, let's get it going over here. The link, please. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Joshua. I'll let you choose. I'll let you choose. I trust your judgment. All right, so let's get started for the day. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. And that's why Oprah Winfrey today is April the 1st. It's the first day of April. It is Q2. If you follow, if you do things in quarter, it is Q2. I hope you have amazing things planned out for yourself. Um, and I hope you're ready to, to make an impact today. So I had some, I want to talk about uh, courage questions because I, I had some questions yesterday and I really wanted to go live again, but I, it took everything in me to hold it to today. So let's talk about courage questions. So the quarter that you get in life, which you have the courage to ask for by Oprah Winfrey. I just happened to find that quote this morning. It goes with today topic. So I was listening to something and it made me think about this. Um, when we when we set out to do something, we are afraid. We we may be scared to try it, scared to do it. We may not have the courage to do that thing, right? And we may assume that because we're afraid or fearful of something that, that we're not supposed to do it, that 
Um, it's just not meant for us or you just hold on to that fear. And what I have found out is that you don't lose the fear. Like when I say start living fearless over here, right? And you see Be Fearless on the bookshelf up there. And that's the name of my company. And the name of book one is Fearless Woman. It doesn't mean, and if you read book one, you'll read my definition of fearless. It doesn't mean that I'm not afraid. It doesn't mean that. It simply means that regardless of the fear that is standing there, I'm still going to move. I'm still going to do that thing. So you don't ever lose the fear. However, and I want to, this is what I was clear on yesterday. And so I want you to ask yourself this question or think about this thing. You, you're not going to lose the fear, meaning I didn't lose the fear of flying, right? But I better understand the consequences and the rewards of what I want to do. Meaning when I still get on that plane, I get that jittery feeling when it first takes off. And when we're up in the air for three hours, and I'm like, okay, I'm about to my breaking point. I need to, but it is that moment in the middle of me wanting to be afraid in the middle of me wanting to say, this is fearful that I understand the consequences and the rewards of the other side of that fear. Does that make sense? So I understand that this is my fear and it's, it's sitting beside me. But my understanding of the consequences and the rewards makes me focus on that and not the fear. You understand the deeper you go, you are okay with what's going to happen. Like if I'm afraid of flying because the deeper I've gone inside of myself to the understanding that I understand the consequences and the rewards of me flying that it doesn't matter that I may still have that fear of, of flying because I want, I want the reward of what I'm about to do. Absolutely, Joshua. Absolutely. And, and I can acknowledge my fear, but I'm going to honor the consequences and the rewards that I want. I understand that. So, when I said I, I, my, my dream or my um, decree was I want to travel the world and be an international speaker, that was my vision. My fear stood in the middle of it, which was I'm afraid to fly. I'm afraid of water because I don't want to cross the water and I don't want to get on a plane. Once I understood, once I understood where that fear came from, I got down to the bottom of that. Two, when I understood the consequences, if I did not follow out with that fear, I understood the consequences of staying and I understood the consequences of going. Once I understood that, then I also understood the rewards of going on anyway. Then I was able to look that fear and say, okay, I see you, but the reward that I want is not going to, your, this fear ain't going to stop the reward that I want to get. Yes, I understand the consequences, but I'm going for the reward. And I'm able to live both. I'm able to, like I said, fear has got to go with me. It can't, it don't get to sit down. It doesn't get to sit me down and I not move because I'm, I'm afraid of something. So as you go, you understand on a deeper level that you're okay, that what is going to happen is going to happen. I understand the consequences of if I'm going to fly, just like we get in a car and we don't ever think about it. You understand that you could possibly have an accident, but it doesn't stop you from getting in a car, does it? You understand, and I want us to put this in very, very simple terms. And that's why I want you to ask yourself courage questions today. What are you going to have the courage to do today? You are very clear that if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever, that if you eat that thing, you understand the consequences of it, right? You understand what's about to happen, but you do it anyway. 
So you are very aware of what's, what could happen, what will happen, what might happen. You are aware of all the consequences, but you do it anyway. Every time you get in a car, you don't think, oh, I'm going to go have an accident, but you are aware that that's a possibility. You are aware that that's a fear. And if you've ever been in a car accident, that's a fear that's in your mind but you do it anyway. So can we not ask that same courageous question about and square this up your mental, emotional, physical, and financial. Can you not ask that question about that? You understand what's going to happen, but you're doing these things anyway. That's you wanting the reward. That is you honoring the reward of the thing more than you honor the fear. And then, but then some of us are working it backwards. We'd rather honor the fear than look at the reward. So tell me what it is that you want to do. And think about this. When somebody asks you a question, what do you want? If I was to ask you that question, what, Georgia, what do you want? Joshua, Kiva, Lisa, what do you want? The first thing out of your mouth guaranteed is for you to tell me what you don't want. Well, Georgia, what do you want? Well, I tell you what I don't want first. This is what I don't want. You don't, I want us to have the courage to when somebody says, what is it that you want? You say what you want. You don't say what you don't want first. Don't honor those limitations first. Honor the reward and the, the courageous part first. What is it that you want? I want a better life. Okay, great. I want a better financial future. Great. Because if you start out, Georgia, what do you want? I tell you what I don't want. I don't want to be broke no more. Well, that's what you're honoring first. Can, can we go with what you want first? And so now we got to look at what, I, what am I looking at the consequences and the rewards and honoring that fear, figuring out what it is that I want. And then here's the third thing. What are you disciplined at? What are you disciplined at? Whatever, like we talked, was that last week, week before we talked about what, when you look around your house, whatever you value is around you and y'all can add earrings and bracelets on there. I love, I love bronze bracelets. I adore them. When you look around, whatever you see is what you honor. And it's also what you're disciplined with. It's also what you're disciplined at. So what became a, what became apparent to me and what I became obsessed with and what I became disciplined at over these past 17 years, right, is my mindset. I am disciplined with my mindset. So a lot of people say, well, Jojo, how can you think this way and do this? I became obsessed and disciplined with my mindset. Thank you, Joshua. I'm obsessed with how Jojo's mind works, how I can get it to work for me, how it can work better for me, and what I don't know about it that I'm trying to figure out. And it, is, and it is my obsession with that and my discipline with that that is part of the fuel for the Fearless Morning Show. It is part of the fuel for Sister Rise. It is part of the fuel for Live Past Crazy, for Be Fearless, for Waddell Consulting Services, for Turner and Waddell Associates, for Bear Your Hair. It is the fuel for those things. It is my the discipline of my mindset. And what do you become obsessed with? And you can say, Jojo, I ain't obsessed with nothing. I beg to differ with you. You may be obsessed with things that you don't want to acknowledge that you are obsessed with, that you're disciplined at. You could be very disciplined at not acknowledging your greatness. You could be very disciplined at honoring your failures. You could be very disciplined at stopping. You could be very disciplined at starting and stopping. You could be very disciplined at downgrading yourself. You could be very disciplined at taking less than relationships. You could be very disciplined at agreeing with your family members, your mama, your sister now, that maybe you ain't smart enough, maybe you can't do that. Maybe you're disciplined at putting your dreams on the back burner 
you could be disciplined in a lot of things that you may not want to acknowledge. You could be disciplined to eat a bag of potato chips every day. You could be disciplined to go to McDonald's and eat French fries every day. You could be disciplined to buy ice cream even though you don't need it. You could be disciplined to buy peanut M&Ms and have them sit in a glass jar in your office and convince yourself you're not going to eat them. You could be disciplined in a whole lot of things. I don't want us to make this hard. So what are you going to be disciplined at that's, that's going to help move you, move the needle to something else? So if I get in life what I have the courage to ask for, can you ask a courage question this morning? Can you go deeper this morning to look at the one thing that you may be afraid of, the one decision you can't, you assume that you can't quite make, that one thought, that one idea, that one business? I, I want us to be really clear. What are we waiting for? Are we waiting for the perfect moment? Ta-da, here it is. Are we waiting for the perfect somebody? Ta-da, you're it. Are you waiting for the miracle? Ta-da. You woke up this morning. Are you, what are you waiting for that you can't have the courage to ask for? Is it because you're afraid for the words to fall out of your mouth? Then write them. Think them, write them, then speak them. And I want you to understand as you write it and you feel scary or you're unsure of that idea, I'm not saying that the fear is going to go away. I'm going to say that every day, I discipline myself to distance myself from that fear. I like that. I discipline myself to distance myself from that fear. Every day. Because now I am obsessed with it. Now I am because, and let me tell you how it started with me, is me hearing the, my abuser saying those words. And I got to stop saying my abuser. He's not mine, honey. I don't want him. Honey, I released that. I counseled that right out, honey. Mm -mm. Nope. I chose his words and I lived them. And when I began to understand the power of the words, when I begin to understand that, right? When I begin to understand the power that words have over me. I had to write that down. Absolutely, Joshua. Listen, again, this is an ongoing journey. It's the small things. So I became obsessed with that. Like, why am I holding on to those words that he gave me? Why am I insisting on those words? And then I became disciplined and obsessed with understanding the mind and how it works and why I choose to hang on to those words and why I choose to say that thing. And what does that mean for me? And where is it taking me? How do I feel? Why do I think this way? Am I projecting it to my children? to the rest of my family. And I became obsessed with that thing that I had to figure it out. I became obsessed with how my mind works and how I can get it to work for me better. And what I didn't know, I became obsessed with trying to figure it out. So when you discipline yourself, you distance yourself from that former thing. As Joshua would say, my former abuser, there will never be another. <laughs> that is for certain. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. So as I discipline myself to distance myself from my fear, it then be, it becomes your discipline every day. Because here is my fear of starting this, whatever this starting this business, whatever it may be. But here is the reward. As I begin to walk away, I understand the consequences and the rewards. I understand that as I go deeper, the deeper I go, that I'm okay with what's going to happen. I'm okay with the consequences that come along with my decision-making ability. 
And because I'm comfortable with that, this fear may be here, but my focus is here. So my focus doesn't change. I see it. I don't honor it. I see it, but I understand the reward that I want is far greater than me acknowledging that fear. And that fear could be starting a new job. It could be starting a new business. It could be, honey, just thinking differently than your mama could be the greatest fear of all. And you've probably been thinking different than your mama your whole life. But to articulate it to her because you feel like you have to or because you want to share it because that's your mama, that's a fear. I've been there and done that. <laughs> been there and done that part. So on this lovely morning as we're wearing belly shirts, sweatshirts today. Think about that. You're not going to lose the fear of the thing. It's going to be the initial shock and the thought process of it. But as you go deeper and you begin to understand the consequences and the rewards, and that as you go deeper, you're okay with that consequence and that reward, okay? Then you make different decisions. So I'm asking you today, what is it that you want? Do not tell me what you don't want first. Tell me what you want first. You can't say, I don't know, and you cannot tell me, well, I know what I don't want. We're not starting the day off with that. We're starting the day off in the affirmative. Tell me what it is that you want. What is it that you want? Now that you said it to yourself, write it on a piece of paper, honey. If you just have a napkin, write it on the back of a napkin, on the back of a bill. Write it down what it is that you want, even if it scares the piss out of you. Write it down. Now... You are disciplined at all things, friend. Can you become disciplined on at least thinking about that thing today? Be disciplined on thinking about what it is that you want today. What is it that you want? And as you become disciplined, just to have that thought every morning, the most amazing things will happen the next door will open as you discipline yourself to distance yourself from your fear. Amazing things begin to happen. Doors start to open. I'm telling you, they, you don't even know how it's about to change, but it is you asking the question. You having the courage to ask the question. If y'all been with me for a while, you know, I caught the power. Now that I'm thinking about it, honey, the power of your question. I dare you to look at the power of your question to be disciplined on a thing today. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for, and that's by Oprah Winfrey. So if you have the courage to ask for it, and trust me, your mind will thank you for it. If you have the courage to ask for it, amazing things will start to happen. They will begin to happen. Period. And you have to become disciplined at that point to decide this is what I want. Joshua, honey, we I think we ask ourselves that every day. At least I do. And the answer is, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. And honey, I have so many sticky notes that tell me that. If you've been in my house and paid attention to sticky notes on my desk in some shape, form, or fashion. And I'll read them to y'all if y'all want. In some shape, form, or fashion, everything that I write down tells me that, yes, I can have it. It tells me that um, I can not, I cannot have that thing. Hold on, y'all. I can't see the other screen. <laughs> hey, uh, Jasmine knows they're everywhere. So I'm, I'm going to read something to you. 
just so y'all know I'm not playing. You are creative of all things you desire. You create time. Nothing stops you from being a creator. Jojo, why are you pretending not to know? This has to work. Jojo, this is easy. Allow it to flow. Somebody's waiting to hear my voice. They will not move until I move. Strengthen your voice by speaking your truth. I have no lack. I have only abundance. I receive all of my blessings and my mindset is yes. I can. I have what it takes. I will. I am willing to do it. I must. Someone needs me. Use your voice. Say it loud. If you're going to lead people better to themselves, you got to let them be themselves. And I can't even read this one. Oh, this is a whole morning show topic. These are on my desk that I, I, I read every morning. Every day, there's something that reminds me that, heck, yeah. Here's another. My name is Jojo. I'm a beast and I run this. I am the CEO. I'm not an employee. I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. I don't motivate people. I help guide them to the source of their power. I take action. I don't center myself. I don't censor myself. These are right here. These are taped to my computer. Those are taped to my computer. They're everywhere. There's there's a whole painting with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight quotes on it. Jojo, always remember that you love words. Use them. I have them here. Jojo, if you really believe in your strength, if you really believe in a greater force, if you really believe in yourself, your growth, your experience and your spirit, then you will move forward without fear, without doubt, without regret. And even if you cannot leave these things behind, you will move forward regardless with them until they should fall off on their own. You're powerful. You're capable. You're doing this for you. And there's nothing more important you will ever tackle than that. Let's get it. Remember, Jojo, the promise you made to yourself at the turn of the year. The only thing keeping you from them is consistency. What is in what is enshrined and focused and determination? Don't let off the pedal. Take some risk. It's time. Move with your intuition, not your emotions. Everything you envision for yourself is possible. How do we know? There are a ton of people doing it as we speak. You're no different. There is no qualifying quantifying the potential of who you can become, especially given, Jojo, that you're already ready. They are, <laughs> they are everywhere. When I became disciplined with my mindset, when I became disciplined with my mindset, I became obsessed with it to make my mind work for me, for me to use the words, for me to do the thing. For me to say, fear, I see you. I see you. I see you sitting right there. It doesn't matter because the consequences and the rewards is what I'm seeking, is what I'm after. That's my focus. So you're going with me. You're going. There is no other choice. <laughs> there is no choice. Period. So I hope y'all like my quote. These are, the, these are things I look at every day they're in my they're in my vision every day whether I, and even my pencil holder says focus <laughs> honey everywhere there's a reminder come on joshua we don't lose the fear we simply understand the consequences and the rewards that come along with it and as you go deeper, you're okay with that. As an entrepreneur, I understand that the fear that I may not have a constant check, the fear that this may not do, I may not do this, this, and this, and that security may be there, but I'm okay because I understand the consequences and the rewards of stepping out into that thing. And the rewards far outweigh me holding on to that fear. So today, I want you to ask yourself courage questions. 
What are you disciplined at? Look around you. What are you doing? What are you insisting on doing today that you're disciplined at? Are you have you become obsessed with that? And maybe you just swap one of those things out. What are you asking for out of life? And don't tell me what you don't want first. Tell me what you want first. What do you want to eat? Tacos will always be my answer. All kind of tacos, except for pork tacos, beef tacos. Okay. I like fish, shrimp, and chicken, and vegan tacos. Tons of cilantro, guacamole, avocado, some fresh lime, pico, some cheese, some hot sauce, all the things. I can eat tacos every day. That's what I want. Judge, what do you want? Books? I have 30 of them on my wish list. Pick one. Jojo, what do you want to sell out Sister Rise Retreat? And I will. Jojo, what do you want to have a bigger Sister Rise Retreat to have them all over the world? And I will. Say what, honey, have the courage to say what it is that you want. Start with what you don't want, okay? Don't start with that. Honey, I know, Joshua, what do you want, honey, to be a, a fashion designer world No. Jasmine, what do you want to be the best entrepreneur and mother in the entire world? To be the first millionaire in her family? Joshua to be the first millionaire in, her, in his family? To help change those people's lives around them? What do you have the courage to say today? What is it that you want today? And then I want you to become disciplined in that thing, okay? Become obsessed with that thing. For me, it was my mindset. And I don't know why I feel like crying, but it, it was truly my mindset. From every book you will see on my bookshelf, it has something to do with the mind. It has something to do with growing yourself because I became obsessed with that thing. Because I saw how powerful words were over my own life and how they hindered me so much. I had to understand what, what was so powerful about that word that it stopped me? What made that word so strong that I couldn't move? What made me, the words that if you put them together made me feel love, hurt, anger, frustration. Why those group of words? Why? And I became obsessed with it. And as I disciplined myself, and here's a quote from Jojo. I disciplined myself to distance myself from that fear, from that thing. So on this lovely day, it's going to be the most amazing day ever. My neck feels good because I couldn't even move it yesterday. It's, and let me tell you what I did last night. As my daughter was rubbing my shoulder, I made sure that she spoke healing words over me. I recited healing words to myself. When I went to bed, I played healing music. The last words that I said to myself as I went to sleep was healing words. And I acknowledged I love my neck. I love my body. It is working perfectly for me today. In the morning, my body will be relieved and released of this pain. And as you speak those things, <laughs> come on, somebody in the Bible. Honey, as you speak those things, they become so. So when I wrote, went to roll over last night and I was like, well, wait a minute, you know, let me remember that I'm hurt and I didn't feel the pain. I was like, I kept speaking the healing words even in my sleep. And so when I woke up this morning, the first thing before I, you know, right when you first wake up, it was to acknowledge the thankfulness that my body healed itself overnight and that it accepted the kind and loving words that I gave it. Your words are powerful. Words can change your life. They can stop your life and they can change your life. And they're doing it right now. Whether you want to admit it or not, words are stopping your life or allowing you to live it right now. I like that. They're either stopping you from living or words are allowing you to live. Right now. Look at what's going on right now. 
What words are you saying that is stopping you? Girl, I'm too scared to go do that. That word has stopped you. I'm, I'm going to go do this. That word is allowing you to live. So on this lovely day, it's going to be the most amazing day. I hope you have enjoyed the show. Please make sure you share it because sharing is caring. If your friends and family don't have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. As always, honey, take what you need. If this was not what you needed today, please leave it for somebody else. If you share the show, can you please tag me so I can properly tell you thank you. Thank you, Joshua, for um, sharing jazz. I know you guys always share it. I greatly appreciate you. On this lovely day, have the courage to ask a question. Have the courage to ask the question today. And this is the quote of the day right there. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. Can you guys see that? I know I can see it on my screen, but I don't know if you can see it on yours. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. And that is by Oprah Winfrey. So I want you to have the most amazing day ever. Remember, just as you distance yourself from the fear, as you become more disciplined and distance yourself from the fear, doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that you're moving further away from it. And even if it follows you, friend, you understand the consequences and the rewards of what it is that you want to accomplish, go and do. And you understand that the deeper you go, that you're okay with the consequences that's going to happen. So I hope you have the most amazing day. I want you to be peaceful, period, because there's absolutely nothing after that. There's nothing after that at all. I want you to share wise words with yourself today. Have the courage to ask yourself that question. And if always, if you need me, I am here. If you, I'm doing a book club again tonight. We're working through the chapters of my book. Uh, and I am working on, they do have a workbook. So if you want to join the, I think it's for women only, the book club for tonight. But we're doing, I think, um, I forget what chapters we're up to tonight in, in book one of Fearless Woman Born to Give Thanks. But I will post that so that you can join us tonight at 730. So I hope you have the most amazing day. Uh, and I will see you guys here bright and early tomorrow morning. Use some wise words for yourself today. Speak them over you and allow them to give you life. Don't allow them to stop you today. Okay. And look at the words other people are trying to give you and think about it before they give you that word. Is it giving you life or is it stopping life? Good morning, Rosemont. You want to say good morning? I'm getting off, so you better come on. Hey, to the men, um, Shaz. So hard. Why? I had to comprehend. I'm confused. <laughs> I know the camera is backwards. <laughs> Jazz, honey, handle your whole business. I'm not mad at you. She said, "Hey, Rosie." She said, "Good morning." All right, guys. Have the keep young keep it say hey Rosie. Today, guys, have the most amazing day. Please do that word exercise, okay? Joshua said hey Rosie. I hope you guys have the most amazing day ever. I want you to be peaceful, period, okay? And I will see you guys here right now tomorrow morning. Have a good one.